What is a haiku? A haiku is a short, powerful poem that follows a pattern of syllables. A syllable is a unit of sound in a word. The word farmer has two syllables, farm-er. It's helpful to say the word out loud and clap out the syllables. The word animals has three syllables, animals. You can also count out the syllables on your fingers. The, hug, slurps, slop. Right, that sentence has four syllables. Haikus were first written in Japan hundreds of years ago. A haiku has only three lines. The first line has five syllables. The second line has seven syllables. And the last line has five syllables. The fucking bronco, dancing in the scorching heat, forgets summer sun. Haikus can focus on one moment in nature or describe something special about a season. Going to the farm, animals playing in June. Boy, does it smell bad. Moby! Hi, boys and girls. That was a great video from Annie and Moby. So you must know today we're going to learn a new form of poetry called haiku. Our target is still I can compose literary texts such as poetry. Let's get started. From the video, we learned that a haiku is an ancient Japanese form of poetry. We learned that it's usually about nature and it's only three lines long, super short. Now, another unique characteristic about a haiku is it has a pattern and that pattern is five syllables then seven syllables, and then five syllables again. Remember in word work where we can clap words like syllable, for example, syllable, that's three. So a haiku is three lines long. The first line is five syllables, the second is seven, and the last one is five. Let's read some examples of some really good haikus. All right, here's our first haiku. Firelight from the past, I wink in the frozen sky, waiting for wishes. Ooh, that poem is about what? Stars, very good, and stars are a part of nature. So let's see if we can clap out the syllables in each line. All right, the first line, firelight, from the past, all right? Fire light from the past. Oh, that first line has five syllables, all right? The second one should have seven, let's check. I wink in the frozen sky. I wink in the frozen sky. Yes, that line does have seven, all right? Our last line should have five syllables again. Let's see. Waiting for wishes. Waiting for wishes. Yep, that last line has five. There's our pattern. Five, seven, five. Pretty easy, right? Oh, let's look at another haiku. Fire in our bellies. We flicker, flash, and twilight rich meadow of stars. That's also about nature. It is about fireflies. All right, let's clap the syllables in each line. Let's start with line one. Fire in our bellies. Fire in our bellies. Five syllables. We flicker flash. In twilight, we flicker flash in twilight. Seven syllables. All right, the last one should be what? 
by, let's see, Rich Meadow of Stars. Rich Meadow of Stars. Five samples, five, seven, five. That's a beautiful poem, and I can see what they're talking about in my head. They use so much imagery, just like we've been talking about in reading. All right, let's do one more. My fluffy seeds drift, tiny puffs lift in the breeze, and land who knows where. Okay, that poem is also about nature. It's about dandelions. It's about the flower. So let's count these syllables in each line. The first line is my fluffy seeds drift. My fluffy seeds drift. Five syllables. All right, how much does the second line have? Seven. Very good. Let's clap it out. Tiny puffs lift in the breeze. Tiny puffs lift in the breeze. Seven syllables. All right, last one. And land, who knows where? And land, who knows where? That's five syllables again. Five, seven, five. All right. So, since haikus are a lot of the times about nature, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get to do a haiku hike. First, you're gonna watch me do a haiku hike, and then you're gonna get to do one too. All right, so while we're on our haiku hike, I am going to try to capture a moment in time. Like, what do I see? What do I hear? What do I feel? All right, so, on my notes here, I'm just gonna write down everything I see, hear, and feel. All right, let's get started. So here I am. I'm out in nature. I'm in a forest, with a stream, and I feel inspired. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some field notes. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look around me, I'm gonna write down what I see, maybe what I hear, maybe some smells or what I feel. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to write down all these things and I'm going to use my notes to make a haiku. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look around. Ooh, I see, I see lots of green. Hmm, green moss, green trees. So I'm gonna write that down. Green moss, green trees. Hmm, what else do I see? Oh, I see a stream. Ooh, and a lot of rocks, different sizes. So I'm gonna put different rocks. Ooh, I might want to use boulders even. Boulders, stones. I see some stones in that river. Just like in science, and remember I learned that about rocks. There's different sizes. Um, let's see. What else do I see here? Hmm. Oh, I see lots of plants. Plants. Hmm. Oh, there's so much. Now, maybe what do I hear? Hmm, I hear, I hear the water moving. It sounds like it's kind of like babbling, you know, kind of like talking in its own little language. So I'm gonna put babbling. And I'm gonna use brook, which is another word for stream because I like that alliteration, babbling brook. I like how they both have that same beginning sound, babbling brook. Ooh, I like that. Hmm, what else do I hear? I'm listening. 
oh, I hear the, the leaves kind of moving in the wind. Mm. Rustling, oh, they're rustling. I like that word too. Rustling leaves. I'm gonna put that on my notes right here. Rustling leaves. I also hear some birds. I hear birds tweeting or singing. Birds, I can use all kinds of words. Tweeting. Okay, so now I'm gonna, I'm gonna think about what am I feeling? Hmm. Well, I feel that the water is on the cooler side. So cool water, cool water. Ooh, I'm gonna put on my toes because I have my feet in the water. Cool water on my toes. Hmm, what else do I feel? Oh, I feel the gentle breeze on my skin. All right, just like it's making the leaves rustle in the wind, I feel that breeze, right? And I feel it on my skin. So breeze, oh, I might put gentle breeze, gentle breeze on my skin. Ooh, these are some really good notes. I'm really capturing this moment of being in the forest. And that's what a haiku does. It just capture, captures a moment in time. Okay, let's see. Did I forget anything? Is there anything else that I can add to my field notes? Oh, maybe as the water's hitting the rocks, maybe some of it's like misting. All right, I could put that misting water. There's so many things. All right, so I have quite a bit of notes here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to take your notes from nature, things that you see, you hear, you feel, and I'm gonna show you how to turn it into a haiku. All right, let's get started. All right, so here are all of my notes for my haiku hike when I was in the stream in the forest. So I'm going to take some of the things that I saw, some of the things that I heard or felt, and I'm going to try and use some of these words and put it into a five, seven, five syllable pattern. So, hmm. Maybe I want to talk about what I saw first. Well, I saw some green moss, green moss, and it covered the rocks. So maybe I could say I'm green moss covers rocks. Green moss covers rocks. That's five syllables, and I'm saying what I saw. So I think I'm going to write that as my first line in my haiku. It has five syllables. Okay, my next line has seven syllables, so I can use some more words or some bigger words there. Hmm, maybe I want to do what I felt. So I felt, oh, I, I know I felt the breeze. It was gentle. Um, it was on my skin. So breeze, gentle on my skin. Uh-oh, that's only six and I need seven. So, hmm, maybe I can describe the breeze a little bit more. Hmm, oh, it was cool. So maybe I could say, cool breeze, gentle on my skin. Oh, that's seven syllables. That would work for my second line. So I'm gonna say, cool breeze, gentle on my skin. All right, so I've done what I've seen. I've done what I felt. Maybe this last one, it can be what I heard. Hmm. Oh, birds tweeting. I really like that. Birds tweeting. Oh, that's only three syllables. Maybe I can come up with a word that describes how those birds were tweeting. Hmm. Beautifully, beautifully. Oh, no, that's four syllables. That won't work. Hmm. Sweetly. 
So birds, tweet, ting, sweet, leave. That gets me to my five syllables. I'm gonna write that. So it just takes some give and take. You might take some words out, you might need to add some words, but you can do what you need to do to get to those five, seven, five syllables. All right, let's read my haiku and let's see if we can imagine Use that imagery to see if we can see in our mind what my poem's about. All right, close your eyes. Green moss covers rocks, cool breeze gentle on my skin, birds tweeting sweetly. All right, open your eyes. Could you see where I was in my poem? I could. And that's what poetry is all about, and especially haikus. You want your reader to see, feel, or hear where you are or what you're doing in nature. Okay, now it's gonna be your turn. If you're at school, you're gonna have a paper just like this, and your teacher's gonna take you outside and you're going to write all over this paper. What do you see, hear, feel? Use those very interesting words that we've always talked about in writing, okay? And you want to make sure that you use words that when your reader reads your poem, they'll be able to see, hear, feel what you were. Okay, if you're at home, you can print this out and take it outside in your backyard, or you can just take a notebook out. When you're done, you're gonna bring it back inside and you're gonna start to put together your very own haiku, like Mrs. Fritz did on this page. All right? And your teacher may help you with this. Um, your parents can help you with this. Just do your best to create that image in your reader's mind and use that five, seven, five pattern. All right, well, wonderful job today, Silver Stars. You guys are amazing and I cannot wait to read all your beautiful haikus. Until next time, goodbye.